hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is susan and today i'm going to be talking about apartment haunting in toronto you know the people that are in toronto call it toronto but you might hear a little bit of a mix in my pronunciation of toronto and toronto just because i am new here and you know i'm still trying to find my way around you know pronouncing it like the canadians do but yeah the point is that i'm going to be giving you a tour of some of the apartments that I went to when I was doing some apartment hunting and I have to mention that this is not the first time that I am doing apartment hunting in Toronto I moved here in 2020 early 2020 and so I kind of have an idea of how that goes so this time around it was less stressful i knew what i was looking for i had some experience because i you know obviously have done some apartment hunting before i came ready i came prepared i came prepared for the real tours i came prepared for everyone but the point is i kind of knew what my non-negotiables were i knew the things that you know were not deal breakers for me i could live with but i knew exactly what i wanted right so initially i was looking for a two bedroom that is under 2200 to 2300 canadian dollars and that's because prior to now i was sharing a two bedroom apartment with a roommate and we were paying about that price actually slightly less than that price little did i know that the market has changed over the course of one year obviously apartments condo units are way more expensive quite yeah like they're quite more expensive than they used to be in 2020 which is ironic because i mean the pandemic is kind of the wave it was not serious as it was then so you would expect that the house and prices would you know drop down um, but I guess that's not the case and things are more expensive than they used to be obviously inflation and all the rest of that stuff and yeah is the reason why that's happening but yeah i knew what i was looking for and the realtors based on the budget basically told me to reduce my expectations to zero reduce your expectations to zero so i knew that uh we couldn't get that kind of space with that budget so yeah we ended up looking for a one bedroom one den right since i mean it's just my husband and i just the two of us we can manage ourselves right so we ended up looking for a one bedroom one den for that price and yeah we wanted a decently sized one bedroom one den and we're quite adamant or i wouldn't say adamant but we were emphasizing on that just because for those of you that, that know how toronto apartments and condos are they are pretty much like boxes right you can't stretch and do all the stuff that you want to do for an average price you would get a tiny box right and so i was asking questions about the square footage so first of all the unit had to be you know at least 750 square feet and obviously this is quite hard to find especially for that budget so but we kept that in mind also it was a non-negotiable we had to have a washer dryer unit within the condo unit and this is because the uh, apartment unit i was in before i had to always go downstairs to wash my clothes and stuff like that and if i didn't like it i didn't enjoy it and i also lost some of my clothes in the process so i wasn't going to allow that to happen again and another thing was that natural light was a factor definitely i was up for natural light so we needed to have that you know coming into the unit yes yeah, so another thing was the size of the fridge this wasn't like a do or die it wasn't a deal breaker but it was just something that i was looking out for another thing was the size of the area the kind of neighborhood it was in obviously was something that we're looking out for as well i was also trying to stay away from the downtown area um i don't particularly like i'm i'm kind of indifferent but i wasn't really trying to stay in the downtown area so more i was looking around the toronto suburbs like um, yeah basically looking around toronto suburbs those were the areas i was looking for and yeah finally we were also trying to stay clear of tall buildings like really tall buildings this wasn't a deal 
deal breaker though so if you found a really good space in a very tall building then it wouldn't be such an issue but that was just something that we would have preferred if it wasn't like in a really tall building yeah so yeah those were kind of the things we were looking out for and i'm just going to be showing you guys some of the buildings and what they had the pros and cons of those buildings and yeah you can take a look for yourself and see
wonder which one do you guys think we you know took out of the three i just wonder share it in the comments if you have an idea and um, just some things to keep in mind i would advise that if you're looking for an apartment in toronto you probably want to get a real tour luckily for us i found a real tour you know when i was looking on facebook marketplace i found a realtor you know a really good realtor um there and he really helped us with our search for condos and apartments within toronto within the gta he was really supportive and helped us all the way through so i would highly recommend you get a realtor to help you because it's something that sometimes could be really stressful and if your realtor already knows what you're looking out for then they won't waste time showing you the things that you're not you know excited about so yeah that's just something to keep in mind i hope you guys enjoyed my video i hope this is useful to you if you are searching for an apartment in Toronto or in the gta yeah and um, thank you for watching my video if you're new here welcome um i talk about topics that are related to tech faith and lifestyle so feel free to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy content like this and if you're returning welcome and thank you for watching my video again and i will see you in the next video bye